Introducing Saga, and it's here. <laughs> right here in my hand. The new smartphone Saga came about at the end of June at the NYC NFT conference. The CEO of the Solana blockchain, Anatoly Yakovenko, announced that it would come with blockchain components and also a decentralized app store. We didn't see a single crypto feature at the Apple developer conference 13 years after Bitcoin has been live. So I think it's going to take us to do it. Maybe we should do a phone. Also, participating in the new crypto phone competition is a layer two solution, Polygon with their Nothing phone. Surprise, surprise, we will be launching a smartphone. Made by Carl Pei, also the co-founder of OnePlus. Nothing phone one is the wake-up call that the industry needs. The design of this Android phone involves Polygon ID connecting the Nothing phone to the full Web3 experience. Polygon ID can prove any aspect of identity on chain without having to disclose personal information. Sounds pretty cool. So who will win the race? What exactly could a crypto phone entail? And who are the competitors? Well, we've already heard about HTC Exodus in collaboration with Binance. I mean, you might remember the hype for that back in 2018. It had a secure wallet and could run an entire Bitcoin node, if you add a large enough SD card, that is. But where is it now? The last update was posted on the website back in 2019, and check it out. Vitalik's promising quote is still there. It's definitely here and it exists. However, a couple of weeks ago, HTC presented a Metaverse phone. It's called the HTC Desire 22 Pro with Polygon ID. It even supports Ethereum. This smartphone can mint NFTs and is a flagship for the HTC Metaverse, Viverse. Although, to me, it looks more like a marketing ploy. Wow. So back to Saga. It's an Android device built by the company Awesome. That sounds pretty awesome. But it's not an ordinary OEM Chinese company. This device is built by a legendary team, Awesome. It's led by Jason Keats, the architect of the iPad Pro. Previously, the Awesome developers worked for a mobile company called Essential. And Awesome recently announced that they're going to present their brand new OV1, which is a privacy-oriented smartphone, and it will come with Brave Browser, Proton Mail, and Signal Messenger, all as standard. Yakovenko himself was also part of projects like Facebook, Fire, and he's actually been working for Qualcomm since 2003. The flagship Solana Saga will have a hardware security layer called Seed Vault. And there's a lot of cool stuff we can do with all the biometrics and everything else on this device to make sure that is actually user-friendly, but also secure. Solana's mobile stack and SDK are already open for a big community of Web3. I see tweets of people saying that for the first time they are willing to switch from iOS to Android. Um. <laughs> but unfortunately, a lot of IT bloggers are not satisfied here. I don't have any idea what the purpose of this phone is. It is not so much about the hardware. I know people will buy it because it has that affiliation. Polygon's mobile strategy is not to make a brand new smartphone. Rather, they're integrating the software with the help of partnerships with mobile corporations. The Nothing phone could be their first remarkable collaboration. Nothing already started sales on July the 12th, with the price of 550 euros for the whole nine yards. The phone has an NFT widget, but didn't announce any more features for Web3 during the presentation. Phone One is going to be a breath of fresh air to the sleepy smartphone market. Now, Saga has only just been announced. The release will be in early 2023, but the retail price is twice as high, with a cost of around $1,000. Pre-orders are possible with a 100 USDT refundable deposit. Everything's open source. Everything we're doing is completely open source. Anybody can pick it up. It'd be amazing to work with Apple to get them to do it, but really the ball is in their court. And you may be asking at this point, what about Ethereum? Well, at Ethereum phone on Twitter has lots of information about Ethos, which is now available for beta testing. Currently, Ethos has native dApps created by the Ethos team, much like the first iPhone before their App Store, says their co-founder. The operating system is built for crypto natives with native dApps, ENS integration, crypto payments, and crypto widgets. The Ethos beta can actually be unloaded onto a Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL, or a Pixel 5a. The team's end goal here is to create a physical Ethereum-based phone. So to summarize what's going on here, we see trending partnerships of large chains with with mobile corporations in the race to capture the audience in the era of mass crypto adoption. Perhaps this is because one of the key components for customers is for devices to be user-friendly with integrations with familiar systems. It seems that very soon the secure crypto elements will be provided on the most popular smartphones as default or possibly as a product advantage. So stay tuned for more crypto news on DAO Heroes.